All right, so in this Ed Puzzle 21, we're going to talk about solutions. So please take notes. We're going to talk about solutions. We're going to talk about solutions of inequalities and solutions of a system. Okay, so um, there are four types, and so I'm going to fold my paper so that you can see that. Fold it. If you don't fold it, it's fine. I just do that so I can stay organized. So we have less than, we have greater than, okay? So for a solution, to be a solution of these two, um, when we look at the graph, it's gonna look like this. You're gonna have a dotted line and you're gonna shade below the line for less than. Okay, the line is dotted and you shade below. Okay, if you have a solution, for example, if you have a point and the point is here on the dotted line, it is not a solution. It has to be in the shaded area like this one. That would be a solution, that would not. If it's up here, that would not be a solution. It has to be in the shaded area. Okay, this is for less than. Now for greater than, it's gonna be above the, uh, the dotted line. So you're gonna have a dotted line again, and it's gonna be above that line, the dotted line. So again, it's gonna be a dotted line, and you're gonna shade above. Okay, so if I have a solution, if I have a point here, that's a solution because it's in the dotted. If it's on the dotted line, no. If it's out here in the white space, no. It has to be in the shaded area or greater than. So less than you shade below, uh, uh, greater than you shade above. Okay, so those are the first two. The second two are gonna be when you have less than or equal to and greater than or equal to. So for these, it's kind of like the first one, but now when you have this bar, it can be equal to it. So now you are gonna have a solid line. And you're gonna shade for less than, you shade down below smaller than. And then for greater than, you're gonna shade above. And it's gonna be a solid line. Always, okay? If your line looks like just a horizontal line, then here you would shade below it. On this one, you would shade above it, okay? So if you have solutions, if it's on the solid line, it does count as a solution. If it's in the shaded, it counts. If it's in the white, it does not. Shaded, yes. Solid line, yes. Uh, the white space, no. That's how you know. So those are solutions for inequalities, okay? So now I'm gonna ask you some questions so that you could tell me which one is a solution or not. So let's look at this one. Let's look at this first one right here. First thing I want you to do is tell me what inequality would you use? So I know it's shaded above. So for above, it can only be the greater than. For above, it can only be greater. <gasps> oh, no, no, above up these two. Now it's solid. So it's gonna be this one right here. That's the um, inequality for this one. Okay, now I'm gonna ask you a question and you're gonna tell me if is A, if, is this point a solution? No, it's in the white space. What about B, if it's on the solid line? Yes, it's on the solid line. What about C, the shaded area? Yes, so these two are solutions, but A is not because it's in the white space. Okay, let's look at this one right here. Tell me what's the inequality. 
So we're shaded down. So down is less than, and it's a dotted line. So it's gonna be this one up here. It's not a solid line. So the correct answer would be less than. Okay, so uh, same questions. Is E a solution? No, it's in the white space. What about F on the dotted line? No, dotted lines do not count as solutions. They're not part of the answer. What about G? Yes, G counts as a solution. It's in the shaded space. Okay, tell me about this one right here. What inequality would you use? Less than, greater than, less than or equal to, or greater than or equal to? Okay, I'm shaded below. Below is gonna be less than. It's a dotted line, which means it's gonna be this one. When it's a solid line like this, it's gonna have a little bar underneath it. But this one's shaded below and it's a dotted line. So it's gonna be less than. Okay, what about this one right here? Is it less than, greater than, less than or equal to, or greater than or equal to? Okay, I shade below. So when you shade below, it's gonna be less than. Always down, I always tell uh, my students to think about it like this. That's how you think about, that's the gang signs. Just kidding. This is less than is down, this one's up. Okay, so for less than, it's gonna be less than, it's a solid line, so it's gonna be this one. When it's solid, when it has the bar underneath it, um, that means it's a solid line. This one's dotted, so there's no bar underneath this one. Okay, so that was solutions of um, inequalities. Okay, that was part one. Now we need to talk about solutions of systems. Please make sure you take notes and you send it to me on Remind. Unless you're in person, you would show me in person. I'll call you up. Okay, so a system means you have uh, two equations. Two equations, two graphs. So two things can happen for this one. Either you have three types of solutions. Okay, either when you graph them, the lines are going to cross and they have one solution. There is one intersection. One point. Okay, and so it's gonna look like this. I like to say meow, this right here where they intersect with these graphs, intersect, that's the cat, meow, that's the point of intersection because the X looks kind of like a whiskers. Okay. So the other thing it could do is it can never touch. And there could be, can you see that? Zero solutions. Finally respond to the student. And so they are they never touch, they're parallel. Oh, sorry, I didn't realize that you can see. They never touch um, and they have the same slope, different um, y-intercepts. So they're gonna be like this, okay? And they never touch. So if they have, it could be one solution, it could be zero solutions. Now, the other word that you may see for these, um, is that these are both consistent. And this is independent. The way I remember is the I looks like the one here. Okay, this one's inconsistent. Um, there are no cats on this one. They never cross. They're never going to touch. So there's no solution. Here it has one solution. So can you think of the third possibility? So they can touch one time. 
there are two lines. They could touch zero times, never touch. What do you think the third one is? Because they're straight lines, so you can't like make it cross and touch twice. You can't make it do it three times because they're both straight. So here, I'll show you what it looks like. You have one line here, and the other line is gonna be on top of it. So they touch here, 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 here. They're gonna touch the entire time, everywhere. So this would be infinite solutions. They're the same equation. They're the same exact thing. And this one's consistent, dependent. So now I'm gonna show you what you're gonna be doing for your assignment today. It's gonna be U.8. So what you're gonna do is I'll link this in the chat. You're going to open up this calculator. Um, this calculator is gonna let you graph them and get the solution how I've already done. Now, to get this, I'm gonna post the link so that you can download it and it's gonna be this app. Um, let me show you a brand new example. So you're finding the solution. Or not. Why is it not working? Okay, so it's going to give us two equations and we're going to find the solution. Actually, I clicked on the wrong one. Hold on, sorry. Dun, 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 dun. Give it just a minute. It's supposed it's supposed to give me three options. That's not the right one. Okay, so here are my two equations. Sorry, wrong one. Okay, I'm gonna get the right one, sorry. Aye, aye, aye. They always change the IXL number, so like one year it's like you dot this, and the next day. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna, you're gonna tell me how many solutions there are. Please be the right one. Third one's a charm. Seriously? Did I click on this one already? There we go. Oh, okay, finally. U.7, dang it, I should remember that. Okay, so we're going to, you can um, put these into this calculator. Oh my gosh. So it did not copy correctly at all. Okay, so what was my equation? Y, oops, Y equals fraction. Where's my fraction? Jeez, not that. Okay, I'm gonna put in parentheses. Nine over two, divide, and then the X, and then what was the other part? Minus, I think if I just do nine over five, I don't have to read it correctly. Yeah, there we go. Nine over five, down here, it's gonna be Y equals four over, over is divide. 
I'm using like the keyboard over seven. Oops. Oh my word. X minus two over, I use the slash button to do the over. Okay, right there. And they cross one time. So because they cross one time, that would be consistent independent. Okay. I don't know why my internet's so slow. Okay, and I do the same thing here. Now, I know something about this, so I can already look at them and know what kind they are. But if you can't, I'll show you what you can do. You type them into your graphing calculator. I need to download this, type in this one. I think it's going to mess up the fraction part because I messed up last time, but it's okay. Yeah, see, anytime it does a fraction, it messes up. That's okay, I can type it. Oops. So it was y equals 3x plus 9 over 8. But look, they have the same number for the x, the same coefficient of x. That means they have the same slope. So when they have the same slope, I graphed it just so I could show you. But I already know if they have the same slope, they're going to have zero solutions. It's going to be inconsistent. They're never going to touch. So I'm going to choose inconsistent. And that's what it showed here on the graphing calculator. These are never touching. They're parallel. They will never, ever touch. So inconsistent. And that's what you're going to do today. So make sure you do the IXL for attendance purposes and also for a grade.